I'm Jane, and this is video two in the Build a Mighty Network series. In the last video, I gave you a tour of a default Mighty Network, but today we're going to do some basic customization over here of our left-hand navigation. In other words, I'm going to fine-tune my default collection and my spaces. Now, remember that spaces are like channels. Uh, they can hold content, events, specific groups of members, anything you want. And collections are just like folders that contain your spaces and help you organize everything over here on your left-hand nav. So to start, we set you up with a default collection called general and some basic spaces. I have a simple template I know I want to use for my community, so I'm going to switch things up a little bit. First, I'm going to rename the general collection right here. And I'm going to call it Start Here. So that was clicking the three dots. It takes me to the right place in admin. And I'm going to add a little tagline. Take a tour and get oriented. And now you can see my collection is renamed here. I'm also going to add a couple collections. So I'm going to add one called Connect. Give it a little tagline. I want it to be visible. Let's create that one. Cool. You can see it there. There's nothing in it right now. And I'm going to create another collection called Resources. Great, so I can see all three of my collections here in the left-hand navigation. Now what I wanna do is I want to adjust my spaces. So let's start with discussion. I love these polls and questions, and I actually wanna keep this feed feature so that I can add more to the space, but I wanna change some of the details. So I'm gonna click the gear icon, and it opens me up to the perfect spot in the admin. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to change where this space lives. I'm going to move it to the connect collection. Perfect. Now you can see it lives under connect. But I also want to change some of the features that are in the space. I'm gonna turn off this members feature. Since I want every single member to join this space, it would just be a repeat of my global members feature, my people explorer right here. So let's adjust the features in this space. So I can see here all the features that are on in the space. It has a feed and members. All I'm gonna do is turn this off. And I'm gonna keep my feed on, but I'm actually gonna change the name of it to posts. So this is what's gonna show up on that tab. And I'm gonna change the name of the entire space to feed. I'm not gonna have a tagline for this one, that's fine. And I want to have one more feature on here, which is events. So I just go under space features, click events, and toggle on. And I'm going to have the display name be events. And I'm going to change this to only hosts can create events here. I could have my members create them, but I want only hosts to create them. All right. So now we have... our feed space with posts and events. I could totally adjust the order of these features, but I actually like leading with the feed and these great polls and cues. So I'm gonna keep that uh, at the forefront here. Now, there's nothing in my resources section and I actually wanna move my course there. So I'm gonna go to space admin. I am going to move the course to resources, easy peasy. 
And it's right there. And I actually want to keep the members tab here because I don't think all my members are going to join this space. I'm going to let them self-select. I could even charge for access to it. So I think people are going to want to see, oh, who else is taking this course and learning alongside me? Now, let's add a new space to one of our collections. All you have to do to do that is click create a space. And we actually have some helpful templates you can use. I'm going to choose the chat template. I'm going to call my space chat, keep it pretty simple. Let's say, meet other members and say hello. And I'm going to put this with my connect collection. I'm going to make it public. And I'm gonna click auto join. I want everybody who enters my community to be in this chat. Awesome. And here it is. It is hanging out under connect with my feed. And I can say, hi everybody, welcome. And I can even reply. It's gonna be a lot more fun when I'm not talking to myself. What I'm gonna do, since I did make this auto join, is I'm gonna turn off the members tab just like I did for that other space. Now it is just a chat with a simple chat in it, that's it. Love it. Now we are ready to go. I have my connect space with a feed where I'm gonna have posts with polls and questions. I have events here and I have my chat under connect as well. I have my resources and in my start here collection, I have my welcome space. I'm gonna make one more change here because I have events in my feed, but I actually have a plan to add a welcome event. So what I'm going to do is put that in my welcome space. And again, I just go to the space features and toggle on events. That is it. And you can see it shows up right here. In a future video, I will show you exactly how to add events here. All right, now we're going to customize our global features. I'm going to keep members at the top. Remember, this is where my people explorer is going to be and it's going to kickstart those member to member connections. But what I've realized is I think I'm only gonna have one feed in this community to start. So I'm going to turn off this global feed. Remember that it's an aggregator. So unless you have multiple feeds in different spaces as you're starting out, you don't really need it on. So I'm gonna to go to admin. Global features. And I'm gonna turn off the feed. Discovery is cool. I'm going to keep it because what this can do is highlight posts and members across every space, but I'm actually gonna rename it as popular and almost use it as a leaderboard. And I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have top posts in it, top members, anything I wanna feature, and some top spaces. I think that's great. I'm also going to keep my events on because I added events to both the welcome space and the feed space. So as I add things there, they're gonna show up in this aggregator where it will be super helpful. So you can see I have members, popular, I'm the top member, awesome. And I'm gonna have events. So all my events will roll up here. Now it might seem like 
I'm making a lot of decisions right now. I kind of came in with a plan, but it's really important that you remember you can turn on, off, rename, reorder global features in any feature in any space at any point in time. So this can evolve as you decide what you want your community to be. And finally, there's one more thing I want to add to my community right now. It is not a space, but it will still show up in this left-hand navigation. It is a custom link. So this is really great if you have another website, a merch store, a podcast, a YouTube channel, maybe a booking link, anything you want the people in your community to be able to get to quickly. So I'm going to head to admin. Let me go up here. I'm going to search custom links. I could have also just scrolled to find it. Great. And I can have up to four. Turn these on. And I think, let's say that um, Fresh Veg has a podcast. I'm actually going to say subscribe to the podcast. Okay. Keep that and save. Great. Save this. And now you can see in my nav, this is right here. My members can click it and they will go off. It will open in a new tab and they can subscribe to my podcast. So again, you can have up to four here. They will always be at the bottom underneath your spaces and collections. Okay, I am feeling really great about my spaces and my collections. I have start here with my welcome page. I have connect, which has my feed with those polls and questions and my chat. I'm ready to add events. And I have my resources, which has my course, which I am ready to build out. But in the next video, we're going to take that customization to the next level. And we're going to add our colors and our branding. I'm super excited for that. And I will see you soon.